to urge him to go back, but growth drove him on. Intelligent men are cruel. Stupid men are monstrously cruel. The wild still lingered in him, and the wolf in him merely slept. You can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with a club. Life is not a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes playing a poor hand well. Darn the wheel of the world. Why must it continually turn over? Where is the reverse gear? I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. A bone to the dog is not charity. Charity is the bone shared with the dog, and you are just as hungry as the dog. The proper function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days in trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Affluence means influence. The scab is a traitor to his god, his mother, and his class. San Francisco is gone. Nothing remains of it but memories. Life is so short. I would rather sing one song than interpret the thousand. If cash comes with fame, come fame. If cash comes without fame, come cash. One cannot violate the proppings of one's nature without having that nature recoil upon itself. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. I write for no other purpose than to add to the beauty that now belongs to me. I write a book for no other reason than to add three or four hundred acres to my magnificent estate. There is an ecstasy that marks the summit of life and beyond which life cannot rise, and such is the paradox of living. This ecstasy comes when one is most alive and it comes as a complete forgetfulness that one is alive. To be able to forget mean sanity. Do you know the only value life has is what life puts on itself? He must master or be mastered, while to show mercy was a weakness. Show me a man with a tattoo, and I'll show you a man with an interesting past. But I am I, and I won't subordinate my taste to the unanimous judgment of mankind. As one grows weaker, one is less susceptible to suffering. There is less hurt because there is less to hurt. Kill or be killed, eat or be eaten, was the law and this mandate. Down out of the depths of time he obeyed. I'd rather sing one wild song and burst my heart with it than live a thousand years watching my digestion and being afraid of the wet. He was a silent fury who no torment could tame. It's better to stand by someone's side than by yourself. Love, genuine passionate love, was his for the first time. White Fang knew the law well, to oppress the weak and obey the strong. He had learned well the law of club and fang, and he never forewent an advantage or drew back from a foe he had started on the way to death. He was a killer, a thing that preyed, living on the things that lived, unaided, alone, by virtue of his own strength and prowess, surviving triumphantly in a hostile environment where only the strong survive. And how have I lived, frankly and openly, though crudely? I have not been afraid of life. I have not shrunk from it. I have taken it for what it was at its own valuation, and I have not been ashamed of it.
Just as it was, it was mine. And at the instant he knew, he ceased to know. The ghostly winter's silence had given way to the great spring murmur of awakening life. This expression of abandon and surrender, of absolute trust, he reserved for the master alone. The aim of life was meat. Life itself was meat. Life lived on life. There were the eaters and the eaten. He was sounding the deeps of his nature and of the parts of his nature that were deeper than he going back into the womb of time.